Hi, I'm Damien Key, and in this video, we're going to look at a way to make your robot do accurate turns. Okay, let's see how we set up a program to do that. As we only want our robot to turn around, we can achieve this with one single move block. With the configuration of this one single move block, there are a few parameters we need to adjust. The first parameter we need to adjust is the steering. Now for this challenge, it does not matter if we're turning left or right, as long as we're doing a nice sharp turn. For today, I'm going to make my robot turn to left, nice and sharply. The next thing that will determine how far the robot turns around is the duration. I'm looking to have my robot turn around one complete rotation. So I'm just going to leave this set up as is, one rotation. If you want to, we could do this in degrees. 360 degrees is the same as one rotation. Let's download this to our robot and see how it goes. So in the NXTG software, we have programmed our robot to turn around one complete rotation. If my robot starts off pointing in that direction and does a nice sharp turn to the left for one complete rotation, we expect it to come all the way back around facing in that direction. Let's give this program a go and see what happens. Hang on a second, that didn't turn one complete rotation. What's happening here? Let's have a careful look at the wheels. So, the same robot, same program, watch what happens with that wheel. As we can see, the wheel did turn around one complete rotation, just like we told it to in the software. But what we find is one rotation of the wheel is not the same as one rotation of the robot. For this particular robot design, we're going to need more than one wheel rotation. Let's try a few different numbers and see what we come up with. Here's two rotations of the wheels. Let's see how this goes. Getting closer, but still not quite there. Let's try three rotations. Very, very close. We're almost there. Let's try 3.2 rotations of the wheels. And that's spot on. Make sure you test it for your robot because every robot is different. Now that I know to make my robot do a full rotation, it takes 3.2 rotations of the wheels. Using that information, I can now calculate how many wheel rotations I need to do a half turn. To do a half turn, we will take our 3.2 rotations that we needed for the full turn and divide it by two. This gives us 1.6 rotations. Let's download that to the robot and see how we go. Here we are with our robot turning the wheels 1.6 rotations. And as we can see, we get a perfect half turn. If we want to go from our half turn now to a quarter turn, we're going to take that 1.6 rotations that we needed for the half turn and again divide by two to get our quarter turn. This will give us 0 0.8 rotations. So 0 0.8 rotations of the wheel will hopefully make our robot turn around a quarter turn. Let's try that in the software. So here we have the wheels programmed to turn 0.8 rotations. Let's check out how it goes. And as you can see, a perfect 90 degree turn. In real life, we'll have things like friction, backlash in the gearboxes, flexing of the Lego, so it's not gonna be perfect 
but make sure you test it with your robot and see what numbers you need to make your robot do perfect half turns and quarter turns.